Hello everyone, I'm Li Huang from IAI. Today I will present our work, Controllable Organization in Training DNNs. The main difficulty in Training DNN is the vanishing and exploding gradient, gradient problems. This problem mainly arises from the linear transformation that are controlled by the weight matrices, which affects the forward and the backward pr process. One effective idea is using orthogonal weight matrix that has the advantages in preserving the norm and the distribution of the activation and the gradients, thus can benefit for optimization. Besides, it can avoid no floating redundancy filters that benefit generalization. This paper aims to learn why the orthogonal matrix. We follow the reparameterization method. Well, Orthogonal transformation is designed for mapping the prox parameters to weight matrix such that the weight matrix are orthogonal, and the updating is performed on prox parameters when back propagating through the transformation. The main problem of this method is to calculate the orthogonal transformation by eigen decomposition, which is computationally expensive on GPU and numerically instability during back propagation. To animate the problems, we use the Newton's iteration to calculate the orthogonal transformation. One convergence condition of Newton's iteration is that the matrix S should be well bounded. We use the re reparameterization idea again to bound the spectrum of V. By doing this, we can find the Newton's iteration can converge as well. To further improve the convergence of Newton's iteration, we exploit the reparameterization idea again to center another prox matrix and provide more compact spectral bounding. We can see that with these two methods, the Newton's iteration convergence is significantly faster. Our method can unify the row and the column of synchronization no matter whether the output channel less or larger than the input channels. Actually, it only works by Stretch the non zero single values of the weight matrix towards one and omits the zero single values, so it can stably ensure row or column of synchronization. Also, the matrix can be viewed as an embedded diffuse manifold with limited freedom degree, so it constrains the model's representation ability. It is necessary to control the orthogonality to trade off between the reduced representation ability and the increased optimization benefits. Clearly, our method can naturally control the orthogonality by using the iteration number. We first conduct experiments on VGG style network for CIFAR 10. We value the depth and the widths of the network. We can find that our only has better performances. We also use a residual network. We do not use batch normalization by default. We can find that our only has better performance than other baselines, and it is not sensitive to batch size. The effectiveness of our only is fused validated on image net, large scale image net classification. For example, on 16 layer VGG net, we obtain remark remarkable improvement in performance. For the residual network, our method can also work well. We explore the effect of iteration number of only of different data sets and architectures. Our main con conclusion is that controlling the orthogonality is necessary to achieve good performances from more complicated network and data sets. It is believed that spectral normalization and orthogonal regularization both are good techniques in stabilizing and improving training of GAN. Our only interplay interplays between spectral normalization and false organization by changing the iteration number of t. We can find that by controlling the orthogonality, our master can achieve better performance than spectral normalization on DC GAN. We also validate the stability of our OLI on different experiment configurations. Our OLI is consistently better than spectral normalization on the older configurations. We further validate the effectiveness of our master on resonate GAN with the non saturating loss and hinge loss. This paper proposes an efficient, stable, and controllable method to learn the weather or stock weight matrix. The code to reproduce the results can be available online.